When you're hooking up your high pressure aero system, the plumbing fittings, and we do have a video of all the setup on that, and just showing a little bit where all these plumbing fittings go. Now that's always subject to change. Everybody's going to have their own type of setup. You're going to want to customize your own setup with some of the additional tubing that we provide. Lines. Laser lines are a joke. Look at the mist coming off of our system. This is the finest mist of any aero system on the market. It completely fills the tray. Now, typically you would have 12 of these nozzles in position down inside your tray. And every time that kicks on, it floods your, your roots with a nice mist. Okay, your roots are going to love this. It super oxygenates every time it sprays. And we include a really fine filter on here that is able to block most of the particulates, at least anything large enough to directly clog your nozzles. But it's still going to require a little bit of maintenance. In order to get this really fine mist, you're probably going to want to clean them. I don't know, maybe even as often as once a week. Uh, but that's totally up to you, and it depends what kind of nutrients you're using. Uh, the, the plants are kicking out these, these fuzzy roots. You can see the root hairs all over, and uh, they're, they're really enjoying the spray. So I haven't had to do any, any real maintenance on my sprayers. I, I had one clog up uh, probably about a month in, but uh, that, that was the only one I've had any issues with. I just cleaned my filter once a week and haven't had any problems. So there goes the sprayer kicking on. This is the high pressure pump. We're running about 80 PSI. And with that fine of spray, you're basically aerosolizing all the nutrients and the water. So there's our mister going on. I don't know if you can see the, the spray there. Hopefully we're not getting it all over the camera lens. But uh, super fine mist. And of course we've got it on, like I said, about eight or 10 seconds on time, which uh, pay to each his own. If you want to put an accumulator tank and a solenoid and uh, set this thing at a, a sub one second time cycle, we can do that as well. Uh, it seems to still give us a good mix of root types. And we've got tons of fuzz. We've got roots that are climbing into the air. Here goes the mister kicking on. Uh, so these roots are getting thicker and thicker, and they're just forming a blanket across the belly of the frog. I'm checking out a high pressure arrow kit and some gutters here. A lot of people have these old gutter sets sitting around and wondering what to do with them after the pump dies and the crappy little laser lines fill up with gum and don't work anymore. So you can buy one of our high pressure aero kits, retrofitted with our drill bit and our sprayer heads and our pump into a gutter set. You can see the way that mist is floating around. And then take our stopper, put that in there, run these tubes back to your high pressure pump, and uh, you've got a high pressure system. So you could do the, the gutters here. You could also do these undercurrent systems. These are getting more and more popular. You can probably find a used one on the Craigslist or someplace else that nobody wants anymore and uh, you can retrofit that thing for high pressure so buy our kit and you can turn those gutters into high pressure you can turn those buckets into high pressure I also want to give a shout out to um, multiponics.com uh, they gave me a discount on my high pressure system that I just ordered uh, it was a pretty, pretty good deal on it um, what you, what you sweet, I really appreciate it a lot. Uh, um, now what I'm using is a high pressure aeroponics system, uh, courtesy of multiponics.com. Uh, well, not courtesy, but they gave me a nice discount. They've been helping me figure everything out because uh, without them, wouldn't probably wouldn't be running right now.